this talk is about continuous deployment with Cloud Foundry. Well, um, actually, the problem we're actually encountering sometimes is that it's Friday evening, you want to deploy the last um, deploy, uh, the last release before going to your weekend. But what happens is an internal server error. I mean, there are many, many means today to um, actually prevent that. One of them is having a good test suite. Another one is having a continuous integration server. And even more like, and even more, you could have a continuous deployment. So the question is how we can actually do that. How can we achieve continuous delivery with Cloud Foundry? Well, it actually goes down to never forget to run your tests, of course, and never to deploy anything that uh, hasn't, you know, um, yeah, succeeded in testing, and never deploy this um, something that failed in testing to your server. So it's easy like that. In the end, what you want to have is people just pushing code to a repository being tested automatically and then deployed to your production system also automatically. And in case you really manage to do that, I'm pretty sure your test suite is all set up, your deployment process is simple. So we are actually aiming to do that, and we've already seen here at this wonderful conference some talks um, about how to uh, achieve continuous delivery. But, um, I mean, it's not that much a problem of automating test execution today, nor um, it is to do, to do single-click deployments. But how to integrate that? How to really um, achieve um, a, product, um, a continuous delivery chain um, that's very easy? Um, I've, I've spoken to many uh, companies in, on conferences, and every, every single company with a continuous delivery process in place is really um, gaining a lot from it, but many don't. So why? Why not? I personally think it should be very easy to set up a continuous delivery chain, and I can tell you maybe it should be that simple that it is just hard to argue not to do it. So how could we actually achieve this? And I can tell you today that there is a way to do that. It's very easy, especially for smaller projects and smaller teams that is using Cloud Foundry along with GitHub and Travis CI. So the Travis guys, they are actually co-located within our Berlin office. They've just recently integrated Cloud Foundry um, to uh, be part of their continuous delivery and continuous deployment um, feature. So all we have to do to make this possible is to push our app at, at least one time manually creating a manifest.yaml and store it to our repository. So it's good to have your app running once to actually know that the manifest.yaml is all set up. And um, then you want to go to um, configure Travis, which goes down to uh, creating a Travis YAML file, you know, telling how to run your tests, and activate your GitHub Travis hook. So GitHub actually is um, notifying Travis that your code has changed in order to run your test. So once you actually have activated Travis, all you have to do is uh, using the Travis command of the Travis gem to set up Cloud Foundry. It will actually trigger you, um, ask you some questions like what your target you want to deploy to, what's your username, and what's your password. Password is going to be stored encrypted um, in Travis YAML file, so you can be safe with that. And in the end, you end up having an enhanced Travis YAML file, including some deployment information. And along with this, your manifest file in your repository and your Travis configuration, all you have to do is push your code against GitHub, and it will run your tests automatically and then deploy to Cloud Foundry, which is very, very cool. It, the lock um, output of Travis will tell you about the success or failure about, uh, of your deployment and your test run. So I, w I think this will make um, a lot of people happy as it's really easy to set up. Um, especially, or actually, in the end, you can try this out on your, uh, on your own. There's a tutorial at, um, at anynines.com that walks through step by step using example, exemplary code how to actually um, set this up. So it's a simple Sinatra app, which does not really come with uh, a test suite but um, a Travis configuration, 
um, as well as a manifest YAML. So all you have to do is fork this code, apply it, um, and configure it using that it's using your uh, Cloud Foundry credentials. And within 10 minutes, you have a continuous de delivery process in place. So I'd be really happy for you guys to try this out. It's any9s.com. Go to the blog. You find a tutorial. I'd be happy to receive feedback. And it's a good chance to say thank you for Travis CI taking care of this uh, very, very nice feature. So thank you very much and have fun with it. <laughs>